This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was released on August 31, 2023. Guard your heart as you cross over. A few nights ago, I had a dream where I was holding a checklist that simply said protect your heart, written at the top. I believe God wants us to protect our hearts right now more than ever because, whether you see it or not, we are at a pivotal turning point where our actions, affections, and heart posture are critical. August has felt like a major test across all fronts, from relationships, motives, and identity to mission and purpose and many more, where the enemy has been trying to trigger you in hopes that you would mess up or give up so close to the finish line. Here are some of the things I remember written on the list in the dream. Rehearsing the past, protect your heart from. Rehearsing past mistakes and failures. Past breakdowns and shipwrecks. Old labels, ownerships, and damaging words. Old offenses and bitterness. Reliving past seasons of betrayal. Reviving the dead and dealing with trauma and triggers. Dishonor from the past that God is dealing with or has dealt with. Trying to fix or justify what is God to do. Old people or connections trying to reaccess you and hold you back. In your relationships, protect your heart from strife and division, gossip and chatter, judging others and writing them off, assumption of people's motives and character, small hurts and offenses that add up, letting the enemy break apart God alignments. Warfare against families and marriages. Relational disconnect through the enemy planting lies. Letting the enemy rob your inner circle. Slumber and apathy, protect your heart from. The sudden lack of motivation to be in the secret place. Discouragement and disappointment. Complacency and apathy trying to steal your fire and divert your affections. Temptations and distractions. Slumber trying to lull you into spiritual sleep. Compromise and double-mindedness. Wanting to give up. Mental warfare and bombarding thoughts. People who are complacent and asleep. Fear in the wrong forecast. Protect your heart from. Demonic narratives of the enemy that steal your focus and attention. The enemy's fear-fueled forecast for your life. Crippling anxiety and foreboding fear. Earthly wisdom that tells you to quit and not risk or play it safe instead the walk of faith. Letting your circumstances preach you depressed. Believing you will never get there and it will all go wrong. Sudden irrational fear over every area of your life. But I pray today that you would not fall prey to these assignments of the enemy, but that you would press through the fires, illusions, and distractions and see God do what He said He would do in Jesus' name. Here are some verses for this word. Psalm 139 verses 23-24 from the Amplified Bible Search me thoroughly, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there is any wicked or hurtful way in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. 1 Peter 5 verses 8-9 from the Amplified Bible Be sober well balanced and self-disciplined, be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, be firm in your faith against his attack, rooted, established, immovable, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. You do not suffer alone. Proverbs 4 verses 23-25 from the Amplified Bible Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you a deceitful, lying, misleading mouth, and put devious lips far from you. Let your eyes look directly ahead toward the path of moral courage and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you toward the path of integrity. 
Psalm 51 verses 10 to 11 from the Amplified Bible. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right and steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co. Hi there, in this prophetic word, God wants you to know that you must press through the fires, illusions, and distractions to see God do what He said He would. You might think it's not a factor, but your actions, heart posture, and affections are critical components in this turning point. It's a pivotal factor in crossing over the finish line. So God is reminding you to protect your heart from rehearsing the past, conflict in your relationships, slumber and apathy, fear and the wrong forecast. And as you do, you are well equipped to cross over the finish line and taste and see God's promises in your life. Are you sensing that this word is for you? What do you see God revealing in your heart? What has been occupying your mind and heart lately? Have you been spending time in the secret place? What has been consuming your time? Now take the time to decide. Do you want to partner with this word or not? The choice is yours. It's for you to decide. Now if you decide to partner with this word, you can express your faith through words and actions. Faith through words. Write down and speak out personalized prayers, decrees, and declarations using the prophetic word and the verses you've gathered. Faith through actions. In your scheduled time with the Lord, go over the items in the checklist and work with Him to free your heart from those distractions and ask Jesus to be the protector of your heart. Again, just a reminder, prophetic words don't automatically happen. You have to fight for them and do your part as you partner with God. That's it for going through the 8-step framework with me. Now I'll leave you with a pray-along video if you decided to partner with this word. Pray out loud as the Father wants to hear your voice. See you in the next one. Bye. Heavenly Father, you are faithful and true to your promises. And your loving heart desires that I taste and see your promises in my life. Search my heart and mind, Lord, and purge me from rehearsing the pain of the past, engaging with conflicts in my relationships, slumber, and apathy, and letting fear and the wrong forecast worry me. Forgive me for participating in any of these, and lead me to your ways, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, renew and refresh my spirit, Lord, so I can run with you toward the finish line. Be the guardian and protector of my heart, Lord and let the most precious blood of Jesus cover my heart, mind, and will. Lock me in your presence, Lord, and never let your Holy Spirit depart from me. Let's run together and finish this race strong. In Jesus' name, amen.